Leon, can you give us an injury update? Uh, is there any new injuries? Or how's everyone doing? I think the injury, there's no, uh, nothing um, extra confirmed other than last week. Um, at this point in time, we know that Sia is injured and Andre is injured, so the, court, the status quo is still exactly the same. Okay, great. Uh, what about Jaden? Well, I don't think he was, unless I didn't see, but see what the, 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 the session today. Yeah, Jaden missed the training session today. Unfortunately, um, he's got a personal issue that he needs to address. Um, but I think uh, in due time, from SRB side, from the camp side, um, there will be an official statement in terms of that. Uh, Andre, um, start of the season, and it's quite an ambitious uh, strategy that you guys are employing with different squads, and uh, the players have just grouped together now. Is everyone on the same page? Are you guys clear into what your objectives are? Um, what, what's it like? What's the communication in the team like? Yeah, obviously it's open communication uh, throughout between the coaches and the players. Um, we've had a good three weeks together. Um, everyone's on the same page. Um, we know what's the goal and, and the plan for the next four, three weeks, four, four games. Um, yeah, everyone looks to be happy. Um, we've got a happy squad at the moment. And yeah, like I said, communication is open so everyone knows where they stand. As a player um, in a World Cup year, what do you feel like when, when the season's beginning? Because obviously what's in front of you is not the end goal, is it? Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, this is also it, it's a stepping stone. Um, you need to move in the right direction. You need to get things right now for, for the end goal. But at the moment, we take it step by step. This is our main goal now, the Rugby Championship. And all our focus is on this. And obviously, you build through the... Uh, um, everyone's very excited, um, you know, excited to play again. Um, Andre, um, you will remember Eddie Jones well from his days with England. It's his first game in charge of Australia for 17 years. Are you expecting the Aussies to make a statement? What are you expecting from Eddie and his, his Wallabies? No, I think the Aussies always come to South Africa trying to make a statement. Um, so you, you can always expect a hard match, a good match, um, especially with them taking the reins again. Um, I think they're going to have a few things up their sleeve and they, come, they are going to come with a lot of motivation because he, he knows how to get a team tied up uh, for a game. So, yes. Uh, Marvin, the, the Wallaby pack, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, we see they've got a, a lot of high profile locks, um, a lot of leaders in, in their pack. Um, yeah, of course, I, I, I think some, I got to mention some. <coughs> Some really good plays um, from I think from number one to number eight. I think they will they will um, come out guns blazing. Um, yeah, but uh, we've had we've had a good few weeks um, mainly focusing on on, on ourselves. And um, this week, of course, a, a lot of um, fo not focus but looking at the opposition. So um, we we would have by the weekend have studied the strengths and weakness of, of the opposition and, and hopefully we can uh, exploit that, certainly. Dion, how tricky does a week like this become where you've got this test match to prepare for, the key one, but also now there are players who need to depart and also keep their mind on next week's VC test? I think at this uh, stage, I mean, all our focus is on our first test match against Australia. I mean, we know, we understand the importance of that, um, the way you start uh, um, we want to have a good start um, because that's going to determine uh, or can be a major factor in determining the outcomes of the championship. Um, and all the players, um, I mean, um, are focused on that. The players um, um, which we which are training, training different groups, um, but um, the groups understand that, that each one of them or they are important in terms of, of um, getting or giving good preparation to get a good outcome um, on Saturday. Um, so, I mean, we've all are zoomed in in terms of, 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 of our training session today. We know tomorrow is our, um, after tomorrow, we will have a good good indication in terms of, of, of where we are with the, with the squad selection, the team selection, and, and the, 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 the players that, that goes abroad. But up till now, it's, it's, it's all gun blazing and ensuring that everyone understands what is needed to be effective on Saturday. Um, and then we prepare, we prepare accordingly. 
religion has always tended to be a bit of a mixed bag. I think you would have experienced it from um, the time his time was in the coach. What are you expecting from his forwards in particular? Because we saw that um, when he coached him, it was very forwards orientated. Mm. And if there's one thing that came out of the Tukele case was how badly the pop forwards um, hurt England's forwards. Mm. No, I think uh, Eddie is an experienced coach and I think he understands the importance of set piece um, dominance in, in, in test based rugby. Um, and I think also in terms of if you look at his recruitment and and uh, um, his approach over the over the years, I think we can expect nothing less. I think it's gonna be a, a titanic battle in terms of, of, of the set pieces, the scrums, the malls, um, and also the, the defence of that. Um, and then also obviously um, uh, playing in the right areas, it's, it's also key in terms of, 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 of test with rugby. So um, having a good having a good kicking game um, and, and and having um, awesome defence, um, I think that is that is part and parcel. We know that that, that Eddie is uh, having a, an attack mind approach in terms of that. But I think um, over the years he has shown that he can find a very good balance between uh, between attack and defence and, and and managing. Um, we, what he wants to achieve on the field, and so, yeah, we expect the, the, the Australia team to be up for it. I mean, if you look at the pack of forwards, or that um, on its own, there's a good experience between uh, um, experience and, and youngsters coming through, unpack, uncapped players. So I think they will be excited coming down here, and uh, yeah, I think Eddie will get them up to be, to be very competitive on Saturday. And Leon, this, this time last year, you guys took a while to get going in the series against Wales. Um, have you learned something from how you started then? Or is this just a different year because it's a World Cup year, just in terms of getting that strong start you, you've spoken about? Yeah, see, it, it's, uh, we've learned, obviously you learn out of each lesson and each series you learn a lot and, 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 and you try to apply that or build on that from one year to the other. Um, obviously you can never ask for a good start. Okay, you can always, um, I think pitch up with the right mindset and intensity and, and I know to do things right from the start. Um, yeah, but um, as I said, test match rugby, it, it's, it, it's, it's something that you have to build on. You've got to build your innings from the start. It's not going to be go all the way um, from the start and, and, and you've got to learn to adapt. Um, obviously, this is also going to be tricky for us in the sense that we haven't seen Australia played. Um, um, so we don't exactly know what, what they're going to bring. So for us, finding solutions on the run in terms of our execution is going to be very, very important. Do you want to add to what, what uh, Mike asked now? How important would it be for the box to start with a, start with a good performance in a, in, a, in a World Cup here? No, definitely. I mean, uh, as I said, our focus is um, from the start that we we want to we wanna win every game. It's, I think it's important for every Springbok and being part of the squad is that, that you want to win every game because that um, obviously it's, it's about being uh, as, uh, the passion that you have for the team and, 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 and what, what we feel for our country and then the second thing is obviously in a World Cup year you want to build momentum um, and uh, um, from, from game one going into the next game um, we've only got what, five games left and, uh, before, before um, we were into the World Cup so, so every game, every competition uh, that we play um, is important for us um, and it's important for us to take to take the lessons at heart as quickly as possible and, and to ensure that we, from what we want to achieve, that we as quickly as possible move in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Marvin, uh, just for you, uh, they, they seem to be taken quite clearly with some of the solutions. A couple of very heavy bodies there, Paul Skelton and Richie Arnold. How's that going to play out in the line What do you guys expect? Yeah, of, of course, Brendan is going to. It, it will be a challenge. Like every this match will be. Hopefully, the altitude will eat them by the first 15, 20 minutes, and it will be easy for us. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, of of course, we're expecting. We know some of the strengths. We, we know the, um, Arnold and and of course, Kelton has done some really good stuff in in uh, in cup competition. So, um, yeah, the, the set piece, the scrums as well. Like I said earlier. I think the captain is also in the front row, so um, yeah, we're expecting we're expecting a, a um, competitive uh, set piece, but it's also for us because we love we love <coughs> to compete. So um, yeah, we we're looking forward to that, man. And just in terms of um, the responsibility that you guys are splitting the squad, 
the, the rest of us going overseas, how much more responsibility do you feel that responsibility to make sure that you kick this off on a good, good note? Um, yeah, I, I think for for me, I, I don't know if it's the same for other players. I I, I assume so. Um, for for to play for South Africa, I mean, no, no matter who's the opposition, we we you always feel that you're on a guard and and um, make the people proud. Uh, there's so many people in in our country who support us and, and and a lot of other players who want to be sitting and being in the position for Springbok. So so as a player, you realize that you're you're one of the lucky few to be. Involved here, and and I mean, like like I said again, uh, we want to go and make the people proud by showing what we um, like the passion and, and 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 the energy that we play with, you know. So hopefully, hopefully it's going to be like that from from me and my teammates. Um, Andre, uh, the guys starting in this first match um, within the team framework, is there opportunity for individuals to put their hands up? Yes, I, I think there's there's always chance for any individual um, to put their hand up. Um, obviously, you've got a goal as a team, and you've got a game plan. Mm. But a lot of the game plan and plans around the play um, also revolves around the individual. You need to make something happen for the next person to, to play off you. Um, so I think there's always, or well, we know there's always chance for any individual to, to put their hand up and yeah, to play, play the best rugby. Are you looking forward to it this week? It is going to be a big good week, yes. Um, we're all looking forward to this. Um, I mean, everyone's excited that international rugby is starting again. Um, everyone wants to go out there and play. Um, yeah, so all the boys are excited and can't wait to get on the pitch. I mean, Andre, you've been described as an age of chaos um, for the Harlequins, and in a good way, that is. How do you want to implement that chaotic agentness of yours from a, from a part perspective? Yeah, obviously, um, you, you like I just said, you want to go out every game and express yourself, um, every skill set and attribute you have. So, for me to go out and, and play the best rugby I can is being abrasive, um, getting the team out of the game line, uh, being solid in the fence, and obviously distribution as well, um, putting away the guys with we that we know uh, has a lot of speed and skill on on the edges. Australia have been a team that has centered around its midfield play around Asa Ukraine and once he got injured um, it, it became very clear that they missed him significantly and I'm not sure what is it, what is it happening from, from recovery perspective. Um, but how but what, what what kind of a different way to treat the depots now regardless of when they play this weekend? Uh, I mean they, they've got <laughs> quite a few exciting players, uh, especially in the midfield at the moment. Um, I mean they, they brought in that uh, Breezy that came from Rugby League, now in Rugby Union, um, very good abrasive player, um, got a great uh, skill set. And yeah, like playing like Simon Kariba, we don't know who's going to pitch up this weekend, uh, who's going to play, but they, they've got a strong midfield, um, wherever they pick. Um, yeah, <laughs> like I said, it's it's a good it's going to be a good matchup um, wherever they put up. And how important does your key game become? Because it's also one of the key components that the Harlequins have used significantly over the past two seasons. My my kicking game. Yes. Um, yeah, where where I can use uh, my kicking game, I will. Um, depends on how the game plays out. It, it might be a running game, it might be a kicking game. Yeah, uh, we, we don't know what they're going to bring. We haven't seen them play under 80 yet. Um, so it's like Dion said, it's how we, how we adapt in the game and how it pans out. No other English questions? Afrikaans, anyone? Hi. Andre, how long have you been in the development of the Lowe in England? Um, ja, ek, ek het nie gedink het gaan so belangrijk wees nie, um, toe ek aangekom het, het, dinge het, het eerst bykie snaak gelijk, maar vir my om saam met ander type span te gaan speel, ander type spelers, um, en die span wat, ek weet, ons, ons uh, val heel de gang, so ons speel net aan val in die rekwee, um, dit het net een hele ander um, deel van my spel ontwikkel, uh, vir my as persoon uh, speel ek Anders type ek wie ook, ek dink bykie anders oor die game ook. Um, so ja, dit het my spel ongelooflik behandwikkel en was op jou en die baie belangrijk vir my.
Dit in 2019 uitgemis in die wereld dat ek het die groep aangekondig het. Is dit persoonlijk hierdie jaar vir jou jou motivering? Um, ja, ja uh, ek het net net uitgemis 2019 um, en enig speler wil wil vir die land verteenwoordig by, uh, by die World Cup. So, um, vir enig iemand is dit motivering, vir my is dit baie groot motivering om, om natuurlijk in die span te kom um, en myself te bewys. Um, maar soos ek sê, soos elk, elke jaar is belangrijk, um, maar ek sal wanneer jy spring mocht eraan trek, jy is altyd die ere en voorig, jy krij het nie altyd, jy, jy kan het nie altyd nie so, wanneer ook wil jy kans kry, want jy het gebruik. Dion, um, het sluit eigenlijk net soort van aan by die, by die makker slot die jy weet wat in die Aussie groep is en dinge. Um, baie mense groen nog steeds die Wallabies die tupiekie van een soft ander belly, jy weet, as het kom by forwards, jy weet, en maar as jy dan soos kyk dat die twee, bijvoorbeeld net die twee makker slot die jy weet, deel van die mix is, jy weet, en by so veel net eigenlijk dat het die grootste misconceptie eigenlijk is om te dink dat gaan al hulle soft ander belly nog steeds wees in die wedstrijd. Nee, ek dink, um, ek dink jy is absoluut recht. Ek dink, um, as jy kyk na die vertooning van, uh, van Skelton en Richie Arnold in, uh, in, in, in die clubcompetitie te loos, ek dink hulle, hulle fysische geaardheid um, het, het, het baie beteken um, in termen van uh, vir die span en het natuurlijk ook bijgeleid dat hulle in die eindrond is gekom. Um, ek dink ook, oor die, uh, as jy terugdink na verlede jaar, um, ek dink Australië so pak is, 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 is baie fysies um, onder hulle los voorspelers um, um, en hulle baie goeie fysiese spelers um, soos jy sê die slotte en dan ook natuurlijk het hulle baie ondervinding uh, in, in, in die voorhe met alle toa en, en slipper, hulle kaptein so nee, ek dink uh, um, ek dink Australië is, is, is een baie fysiese span, hulle baie, maak het veel baie moeilik voor en, en het gaan belangrijk vir ons wees om, ja ons moet focus op, op onze uitvoering, maar Dat gaan ook belangrijk wees vir ons as het Afrikaners om die fysische ingesteldheid um, um, ten toon te stel saterdag en om, om, om effectief te wees. Dion, jy het vleer jaar in Sydney het jy die Wallabies besiek van die veld afgespeel. Is die uitdaging om dit te herhaal en is dit tot een maat die maatstaf dat jy dit saterdag naast krijg? Ek dink is die Afrikaanse, onze span, ek dink uh, as jy kyk naar die samenstelling van die span en dan ook in die manier hoe ons wedstrijde benader al oor in die verlede was dit nog altijd een belangrike component van, van, van Zuid-Afrikaanse rugby um, en ek dink dit is, dit is iets wat nie, wat nie sal weggaan uit, uit, onze, uit onze speel nie. Natuurlijk wil ons um, nie net visies wees nie, maar ons wil ook uh, um, uh, ons vaardighede ten, to- to- ten toonsteel en ook strategies probeer om die opponente het uit te oorle. En ek dink as jy die balans en combinatie kry aan my enige toetswedstrijd, uh, dan behoort jy op een goeie plek te wees. Marvin, ek weet nie of het een goeie of een slechte ding is nie, maar sien jy uit daarna van die vooruitzicht weer dat jy een uh, man mountain van 150 kg omtrein moet probeer maak? <laughs> <coughs> ja, uh, uh, Natuurlijk, een mens moet die, moet die oppositie ken, en, en soos wat ons na die hele tijd sê, ons, ons, ons weet nie, nie net, hy nie, um, ons weet ook weer gaan speel, ons weet nie, ons gaan nie spaar like, maar um, ons, ons moet al die, al die spelers in die strijd sê vol, ons moet ons, um, ons moet hulle er, erken in termen van ons analysis doen, analyse werk en, um, en plan en plek stel en, en goed ja, maar um, gaan ons op ons rug van ooit een speler, en dan oppas het nie. Ons moet, ons moet al die spelers in die oppositie um, respecteer dier hulle an- analyse te doen en, en plan en plek te stel, so ja. Um, Australia kom hierna toe ook om geschiedenis te maak, hulle het in baie jare nie op loftes gewen nie, en dis een rekord wat julle seker sal hoog met plek hou, is dit ekstra druk op julle? Nee, wat ek denk nie, ons is een span wat ons baie um, steer aan, aan, aan geschiedenis nie, ja, dit is belangrijk om om um, aan, te, aan, aan te presteer en, en jou beste te doen, maar ek dink ons sal um, ons self in een moeilike positie plaas as ons uh, uh, rekord wil verdedig, ek dink die, die focus moet wees op, op uh, ons eie vertooning en ons, ons uh, die verstaan dat ons seizoen begin en dat um, um, ons elke Elke toets wat ons speel is een, is een bouwsteen vir, vir, vir die volgende een. So ek denk dit is waar ons focus is. So ons sal uitgaan om, 
om ons beste te doen en natuurlijk om te proberen om die beste te winnen. Ik denk dat die, die gevoel in die span is baie goed. Ik denk dat we een um, uitstekende paar weken achter die rug in termen van onze voorbereiding. Ik denk dat alle spelers is opgewonden om, om weer te beginnen om internationale rugby te spelen. Um, dan moet je naar daarna om, om goed te doen in die, in die rugby kampioenschap en natuurlijk dit als een bepaalde uh, um, grondslag te zien in onze opbouw naar na die wereldbeker. Ik denk dat elke speler wil goed doen, um, elke speler poogt daarna om na, natuurlijk die uitzoekgroep te behalen. Taal. En, en ik denk dat zal als extra motivering dienen voor ons om, uh, uh, wanneer onze in die wedstrijden in gaan. Um, ja, ons, ons is niet 100% zeker uh, uh, um, wat om te verwachten van die, van die nieuwe Australische span onder die nieuwe africhting nie. Uh, maar ons weet dat Eddie is een uitgeslapen africhter met baie ervaring. Um, en hij zal um, met zijn kennis van Australische rugby, denk ik, zal hij het recht krijgen om die beste in die spelers uit te halen. Um, um, ik denk die groep wat hij samengesteld het, is een interessante groep met eigen ervaring. En uh, um, natuurlijk uh, denk ik, hij zal bij een goede team staan voor ons bied en die en die wedstrijden wat voorleer. Dat is het. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.